Tonight, there's a brand new push to free Patty Pruitt. She's currently serving a life sentence for the murder of her husband. It's a controversial conviction, and now there's the coronavirus. Here's investigative reporter Angie Racono. Does it really make sense to keep a 70-year-old great-grandmother in prison? More than 50 lawmakers don't think so, and they sent Governor Parson this letter asking him to grant Patty Pruitt clemency. It's signed by both Democrats and Republicans. I'm doing somebody else's time. My kids and I are doing somebody else's time. And how do you ever prove, prove that? Patty Pruitt has spent more than 34 years in prison for Bill Pruitt's death. He was shot and killed in the middle of the night. Some things were fast, some things were slow. Patty says the man who killed her husband attacked her too. All I remember was being pulled out of bed and thrown on the ground so hard, and I thought, I've got to get the kids out of here. Police never believed her. They viewed Patty as a cold, conniving killer. This is the parents' bedroom. Police took pictures of her mystery novels. Prosecutors pointed to her affairs and told the jury a woman like that was capable of anything. We're walking back to this closet where the guns were kept. They needed to hold her responsible. The dignity of the institution of marriage and the state in our community requires it. Supporters call the original investigation sexist and shoddy. Time has revealed troubling details, like how the family dogs went missing. He found them on the like another property over from ours. We had 40 acres yeah. and that they were dead. They were dead? Yeah. They died that night? So we think they were poisoned. All of Patty's children, now grown adults, back their mom. They call what happened a double tragedy, a murder, and now their mom sits in prison. A recent effort to prove Patty is innocent failed. She wanted crime scene evidence tested for DNA, hoping that would back her version of events, that a stranger entered the home, cut the phone cords, and left behind DNA on her pajamas. But the court sided with prosecutors, pointing out Patty was convicted on motive, and DNA could have been left on those items at any time, even days before the murder. Which brings us to the latest push to free Patty. Lawmakers on both sides of the aisle want Governor Parson to free her. She's 70, she has high blood pressure, she has a heart condition, she always has chronic bronchitis. Jane Watkins says coronavirus could be a killer for her mom. I don't think she would make it. The family has been pushing for clemency for years. They report they were close with Carnahan before his tragic crash, and recently with Governor Greitens, but then he abruptly resigned. The family has always been hopeful Patty will be freed if anyone really looks closely at her case. Now, especially, seems, you know, important to let's get her home. You know, she has a place here. Jane is worried freedom for Patty might be death. The family is having painful conversations. If this is the way she goes, don't let it ruin us. That kind of talk. Coronavirus has hit prisons hard. A guard at Patty's prison has tested positive. So virus and death now dominate phone calls. Patty doesn't want her death to destroy the living. I said I would try not to and that I know ultimately she would be free. But it's certainly not the way I'd like to see her go. This letter highlights the fact that Patty has been a model prisoner and her risk to the community is extremely low. It also suggests maybe a trade. Instead of spending thousands of dollars to keep her in prison, maybe use that to fight crime. Angie Wercono, KCTV5 News.